super wet day today, but that's okay because today we're talking about the boosted board. Now, originally I filmed this video in this room over here. And this is my second day in the office, and I haven't fairly figured out all the logistics of everything here, but that room and all the rooms that across this wall here are super echoey. Didn't know that when I was filming. Let's start over again. You know, I contacted the Boosted Board team. Boosted Board team said, hey, yeah, we're gonna get send you a replacement. That was August 2019, and now it's October 16, 2019, and I finally have a new battery in hand. So today I want to talk to you guys about the Boosted Board and how long it lasts. Uh, originally, this idea came from when I was talking to Venus, and Venus and I were talking about cars and how maybe we should get rid of our car now because it's been five years since we've owned it. And apparently, after five years when you buy a car, there's going to be underlying issues, and you should probably get rid of it, trade it in, get a new one in that time frame. Boosted Board's a vehicle, so I wanted to kind of apply that same mentality towards the Boosted Board. Is what is that? This might not be the best place to film this. Hmm. Okay, so this is like a green room space that nobody's really using right now. But let's talk about the board. So this is my boost board. It's from 2017. I bought this for a film shoot back in Ottawa and Canada today. And uh, it served me well. I've used this so much that I've traveled all over the world with this thing. And I've racked up quite a few kilometers. So Venus car, 83,000 kilometers. This guy, 6,000 kilometers, which is the distance between Toronto to Vancouver round trip, which is absolutely insane. So I've racked up a lot of things, but on top of that, a lot of things have broken on this board. In fact, I th actually, the only things that remain from my original board are the trucks. Everything else has been replaced. So the wheels, the deck, the battery, the uh, motors, the everything. Everything has been replaced on this board, which really asks the philosophy question, is it really the same board if you replace everything, replace all the parts? This is not exactly like an awesome setup. Like I'm just looking at the monitor right now. Like maybe if I move this over here. No, it just, it just looks like a porn shoot. Shit. <laughs> oh, it's just, it's just a couch in a room. That's bad. Okay, maybe I can do this better. Is this better? Maybe, I don't know. But uh, just really, really, really quickly before someone kicks me out. So let's talk about money. So let's talk about money. If you're looking at the affordability of the boosted board and you know, boosted board has been a crazy fun thing to ride around the city using film shoots and stuff. But as from like an affordability standpoint, if you're like a college kid looking to use it to get around campus and, or if you just want to use it as your last mile vehicle, let's talk about the money. Originally I spent, I'm going to talk in Canadian dollars cause I'm from Canada. I spent it in Canadian dollars, but originally I spent 2,500 Canadian Canadian dollars on the version 2 Duo Plus boosted board. That came with a standard range battery and they offered in the next year the extended range battery for an additional 300 more dollars, making the total cost of this $2,800, which, you know, fair. That's like used car territory. Would you buy a used car or would you buy a boosted board? I ended up buying a boosted board because I didn't want to pay for the insurance as well. Uh, let's take a look at the numbers. The additional parts, upgrades, maintenance, you know, the bearings and the new helmet and all the other stuff. I spent a total over three years, $761 in terms of all the extra parts you need in order to keep this thing up and running. Uh, that includes the wheels, you know, all the other random stuff that you want to upgrade on your board. So now I'm talking, what, $3,543.42. That's how much I've spent, actually personally spent, from a boosted board stand. But that does not include all the parts that broke on boosted end. You see, my board has broken so many times, and it's not my fault, you know, it's just like random shitty things that happen, you know, such as the motor pulleys. Those break all the time. I've gone through six of them. Now, those motor pulleys are roughly, how much did they say those cost? 100 US dollars each. So since I've gone through six, that's 600 American dollars. I've also had gone through, I've like, 
uh, I had the battery error of death on my extended range battery, which means that that's going to cost an additional 400 US dollars. Uh, I've had the boosted riser, so there's like a piece of plastic on the back of the board that keeps the cables in connected to the board so it doesn't have cables just flying everywhere. That costs, I've broken those, I've broken at least five or six of those over the span of a crazy amount of time, three years. Uh, so that costs roughly about 60 American dollars. And the deck, after three months of riding around on my deck, I've noticed that there was a crack in it and the crack was growing. Busa said that that's, you know, that's a manufactured defect. So that would have costed me another additional 334 American dollars to costing. So the total here is 1,384 American dollars that I would have to initially spend if the thing is boosted, has great customer service, and like they've replaced everything for free whenever I've asked. So I don't know how long that's gonna last, but from a camp from a company standpoint, company, a company standpoint, that seems to be like an ongoing thing. If they ever do stop, the total cost of all these additional parts costed me $1,817.91 Canadian. So that's $1,384 American. So the total cost for me personally that I've spent was $3,543 Canadian, but if I had to add the American, the, all the other parts, I need to be very conclusive there. 3543 plus 181791. That's $5,360, $61. So if you're looking for a boosted board, hopefully that is something that you take in consideration. Uh, yeah, I just thought it'd be an interesting thing that people should know. And I probably spent way too much. I probably spent way too much money on this board. I think, honestly, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this new office space. It seems like everywhere I go, I can't really film anywhere. So I might just use it as an actual like editing suite. Where's people back there? <laughs> Okay, so as for the new office space, I don't really know how I can use this space. I haven't really asked what rules that I can break or whatever. But uh, for the time being, it doesn't look like I can use the space as like a full like place to do my YouTube videos. So uh, it's not like the BA test kitchen or whatever. So we'll figure something out in the near future. But thank you guys for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Peace. This room is cool though, right? I need like an actual studio, like an actual rent, an actual space so I can film in that space all the time. That's what I need. It was good. Like I got this for six months for free, but you know, I gotta work towards that new goal. Get that studio. Hi. Hi. I'm just leaving now. Huh? I'm just leaving now. Yeah, that lady just kicked me out.